it takes six or eight pole bearers to lift you up when you are deceased. Now imagine what you could achieve if you had six or eight people to lift you up while you are still alive. For the last several weeks, we have been listening to the excerpts from the letter of St. James as our second Sunday reading. As far as we know, St. James wrote only one book that made it to our biblical canon. Even though it is quite short a book, it is also very important and matter of fact. For some time we have heard St. James explaining to us that faith without works is dead. He has been elaborating on the difference between faith as knowing something and faith as doing something. Between faith as a noun and faith as a verb. Today, St. James continues with even more down-to-earth explanations. He says, Come now, you rich, weep, and wail over your impending miseries, for you have accumulated all this wealth, and yet you withheld wages from your workers. You enjoyed a life of luxury when those whom you employed lived in misery. Weep and wail. Those of you who claim to have faith but do nothing to lift up your sisters and brothers. Weep and wail. There is a big difference between people who are pious, who are faith filled, and yet who are at the same time very removed from the concerns and challenges of daily lives because they live privileged lives. And those who not only have faith, but also live it out day after day, lifting up those who are less fortunate than themselves. Doing faith, both from the point of view of Jesus and that of St. James, is much more important than having faith. I don't know about you, but in my short life of 40 plus years, I have encountered many pious Christians who read the Bible every day, who pray the rosary, who know the documents of the Catholic Church back and forth, and yet at the same time a pain in the neck, and yet at the same time lack some very basic, basic human empathy. In today's Gospel, the disciples of Jesus have encountered someone who was preaching, healing people, and expanding demons in the name of Jesus, who basically was doing their job. And so they run to their master and say, Jesus, Jesus, we found someone who does all these great things, 
but you have not authorized him to do so. Please, please stop him. Because he is not a Roman Catholic priest in good standing. He doesn't have a license to do what we feel important enough to do, but often don't. And Jesus' answer is very simple, coming in the same direction as the reflections of St. James. He says, whoever is not against me is for me, and better for him yet, for he is actually doing something when you are whining and complaining like little babies. Today's readings remind us very directly that we have a responsibility of not only knowing our faith, accepting it on some intellectual or spiritual level, but we are called to do our faith. We are called to live it out in a very active way. We are called to be one of these six or eight people who lift up our siblings every single day, who give wings to those who have broken hearts and broken lives. Remember that it takes six or eight pallbearers to lift you up when you are dead. Be one of those six or eight people who lift people up when they are still alive. Amen.